Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Open House, a game available on Itch.io which, from the look of it, aims to emulate the look of those virtual tours available on real estate websites. Now, why am I so nervous about going into this, and more importantly, why am I playing it at all? Because you guys suggested it to me with no other information. This could be anything. <laughs> Now, believe it or not, there is actually precedent in my mind for virtual house tours from a horror perspective. See, I've always been fascinated by, like, weird, strange architecture. Not even necessarily weird, just stuff I haven't seen before, stuff I'm not used to. And so I would often go on to these virtual house tour real estate websites and just look around. Now, of course, these houses were places people were moving out of oftentimes, so they'd be in various states of disrepair or furnishing, and they were taken with these low-quality, early 2000s digital cameras. And so often, I would, like, you know, look through a doorway into a darkened room and swear I could see ghosts and things and the digital noise, and I would actually, uh, eventually that uh, hobby kind of evolved into me looking for ghosts in the real estate virtual house tours. And I kind of wonder if maybe this game isn't inspired by a similar sort of background. But whatever, let's click to begin and find out what's going on here. <laughs> oh, it's got the stock person and everything. Yeah, I suppose the style of this does kind of mimic those uh, discs that you get in the early 2000s for various programs. Hello there. My name is Agent Name, and I'm one of your local North Tree real estate agents for the client neighborhood area. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Agent Name here. Thank you for being a part of our alpha testing program. We're excited about our partnership with Optics Dynamics Labs to help bring you the latest and cutting edge real estate technology through nano drones photogrammetry, and industry-leading machine learning. Okay, so we were going very much for the late 90s, early 2000s vibe, up until you started talking about nanodrones, photogrammetry, and machine learning. But what does that all mean? Well, client name, I'm glad you asked. For the first time ever, we've made the home buying process more convenient by bringing the full open house experience to the comforts of your digital devices. It's home buying revolutionized for the 21st century. Oh yeah, you mean that I'm not doing it? Through a combination of camera drones and thousands of still images, we can now scan and recreate a fully explorable three-dimensional snapshot of any home. I don't think you need nanobot swarms to do photogrammetry, but I suppose they would make it easier. For a seller, that means no more dealing with the inconvenience of multiple showings. For a buyer, you can now browse our entire portfolio while sitting on your couch. We're excited to show you a perfect home in your client neighborhood area. It's a fresh listing from one of our newer developments. But before we can get into all that fun stuff, I'll need to go over some basics of how this all works. Don't worry, it won't take long, I promise. Ooh. This indicates what room you're currently in. What, my sight? Moving your cursor around the screen, an example of the highlighted areas, will reveal different icons. Clicking on them will turn left, right, and move forward. Ah, so like those 90s adventure games. Moving your cursor over the information bar will reveal additional options you can click on. Now I think we're ready to get started. I highly suggest that you wear headphones to get the full virtual open house experience. Ah, uh, that's good thinking on your part. Let us in on all the creaks and groans the house makes before we buy it. Genius! And not for any other reason. Please keep all hands and feet inside the ride at all times, and remember to have fun. And do let us know if there's anything we can do to improve your experience, because here at North Tree Real Estate, you, client name, are our highest priority. 
How can you not trust a face like that? Loading scan of 15615 Ho Hollow Oak Lane. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I've seen this place before. You know, in like every Unity game. House Party, The Survey, probably like 18 others. Okay, so here's the dining room. It's full of stock Unity assets, which is very nice. You know, this doesn't look like photogrammetry, this just looks like Unity. Here's the garage. Can't look in the cabinets. Okay. Well, I guess it's time for us to head upstairs then. Or wait, can we go in the backyard? I gotta have a yard. Uh, it doesn't look like we can, sadly. Uh, that's alright, although... It seems the drones did explore a little bit of the outside. I guess right after they finished burying the previous tenants. Oh, wait, 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 let's go to the side. There's a bathroom here. Nice little bathroom underneath the stairs. Oh, information. Uh, we can't live chat or make an offer, but we can see details. Okay, this guest bathroom has been recently updated with new fixtures and plumbing, so you can rest assured that your guests have the latest in modern convenience. Okay, uh, I've got to remember to go back and look at all of that. The entryway has a nice modern look, with spacious vaulted ceiling. There's also a convenient guest bathroom located just down the hall. Okay, I already saw this. It's got like that Sim-style building music. This cozy living room receives tons of natural light during the day, and the brick fireplace adds the perfect touch of warmth for the cold winter months. Ah, oh, I love this place already! Surely there's no kind of catch! This dining room is the perfect entertaining space, with clear sight lines into the backyard and living room, as well as easy access to the kitchen. With modern appliances and tons of space, you'll never have to do... Wait, you'll never have to worry about having too many cooks in your kitchen. I don't know, it looks like you can fill this place up pretty easily with like two or three people. The two-car garage has plenty of room for storage, or it could be converted into the perfect personal space you've always wanted. Uh, this doesn't look like there's room for two cars, but sure. Uh, now it's time for us to head upstairs, I think. Wow, this place is great. Hello? No details for stairs, okay. No details for second flight, either. Alright, I guess we'll start with the room on our right. A massive walk-in closet and an in-suite bathroom make this 500-square-foot master bedroom your sanctuary from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Wow. Marble counters and tilt and tiling add a sense of luxury that helps you to unwind and relax after a long day. Ah, oh, this is all so great, but... Oh boy, I haven't heard a price yet. Can something like this really be possible for sub a million? Navigating's a little bit clunky, but I suppose it makes sense given... Oh... Oh, I see the catch now. The world is corrupted. We're right on the edge of some chunk errors. We'll never have room to put in a pool. What do you mean, don't look at it? Don't look at what? <laughs> you know, I came in here with a skeptical attitude, but I had gotten so lost in this, uh, frankly, lovely presentation that I'd almost forgotten I was playing a game suggested to me by horror fans. 
This second floor bedroom, um, this isn't a bedroom, but okay, the second floor bedroom is perfect for a smaller child or a home office for when you really need to get work done. Uh, now that you tell me not to look at it, I'm really not so sure about that closet and what is with that flickering of light? I don't like that. Are those scratch marks on the wall? Something funky is happening to my cursor when I mouse over it. No, you got nothing to say about that? You got nothing to say about... Okay, well that explains why you've got nothing to say about that. Are you... Wait, I have a suspicion. I have a suspicion, hang on. I guess I looked at it once. Wait. I could have sworn I just heard something. On my right. Laundry room. <laughs> Hello? Uh, you were supposed to move out like a week ago. A second floor laundry room means no more hauling heavy loads of clothes up and down the stairs. Talk about a real time saver. Are you it or are you hiding from it? I might have to join you soon. Another completely redone and modern full bathroom means never having to fight over who gets to use the shower first. Awesome! was really expecting there to be something in that mirror. This is the final room. The end hall bedroom is large enough for two small children. Or that moody teenager who enjoys their privacy and loud music. can't seem to interact with the closet doors at all. Perhaps we can interact with our friend in the other room? What do I do with you? Are you just there? Oh my, I must say, really making the most of this concept. You ever do one of those virtual tours and just happen to catch a glimpse? of someone, like, in a mirror or something like that? What is that on the ground? Hair. Apparently torn out at the roots from the sound of that blood, and don't think I didn't hear that door open behind me. And what looks like the shadow of a person over the bed. Still can't interact with that closet door. What door opened then? The front door. Are we to walk out? We can't. But something's joined me. For sure, something's joined me. Okay, we get the same stuff as before. Do I just keep... Yeah. Yeah, that chair certainly wasn't knocked over before who's here with me. Ah, oh, they've run the full potential of possibilities here. Have you gone out the back? No. I can't tell with the sliding glass door. It's been a real problem in my life. It starts off with, like, you know, creepy things hidden here in what is ostensibly photogrammetry. A 3D look of a still moment in time of the house. And I guess the person in the closet could be attributed to, like, a fluke. Someone there when they weren't supposed to be and realized it and went to get out of the way, but... Now it's like things are happening in real time, something which shouldn't be possible. That's two out of four. You still hanging in there, bro? I hope I'm not giving away your hiding spot by coming and looking at you. Maybe there's something else I was supposed to notice, something I didn't see? Uh, we 
can't move forward to have a look in that tub, which is where I thought there might be something. Oh, the scratch on the wall is gone! I don't know what to do at this point. I didn't like how it immediately pulled my attention to the mirror. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Was what just happened because I put it down or because I tried to bring you out? I, I didn't see. No! Oh, I, I turned to see the door and I thought I was locked in. Did something just trudge upstairs? That's what it sounded like. That should be three out of four. Three out of four, don't look at it, so that I looked at. Now, the fact that the music has never changed just makes this all the more unnerving. Almost like it's an intended part of the show. There were not that many instances of that picture before. That's the takeaway. That's what I should care about right now. You're still hiding? Okay, understandable. Good. I can think of nothing else but to try the garage. There we are. There's number four. And there goes the music. You've got nothing to say now, huh? Um... I, I, I seem to have dropped my UI. What do you do when you drop your UI? Uh, can I go on disability? The fireplace is on. Uh. <laughs> oh, you're, you're... You're so happy that you finally removed... I can't... No, go away, go away. You're... You're impeding my freedom of movement. I can't move forward! The current scan has encountered a memory error recompiling data from an earlier restore point. Available scan today, approximately one hour ago. I wasn't even playing one hour ago. Am I to understand that this is the house immediately before I arrived? that what I was seeing was only the last bits that they failed to clean up? Can I take this literally on any level? What am I walking into? By the way, I am so tempted to put this on a disc and like donate it to the thrift store or something. <laughs> it was you the whole time. You weren't hiding. Well, you were, but you were waiting for me. <gasps> Perhaps under some other influence you acted? I did not- I did not expect that movement. Okay, you look like a pretty cheesy Unity asset. I didn't expect you to move in such a smooth fashion. Uh... Missing scan data? Zero of four. Does that mean I have to find something new now? Please scan- rescan second floor. Use arrow keys to reposition- I'm actually controlling this now. Oh, what a mind screw to have this entire thing take place from the perspective of like a point and click 3D environment and then have us step out of that after we drop our UI 
to actually move around like a normal game. This has to be one of the best uses of fourth wall breaking I've ever seen. Since the rest of the visuals had so thoroughly mapped onto those like early 90s adventure games. Wait, oh, I can't open them by clicking. Or maybe just bumping into them? Scan complete one of four? Okay, so I just have to go into each of the rooms. What does that say? It's inside. Yeah, we've met. I know it's inside. Two. You're not in your hiding place anymore. But there's three additional rooms. Oh, we can't open this one. Now those scratches are back. Don't close the door behind me. Don't close the door behind me. Am I meant to imagine that I'm playing as the drone swarm right now? Should I even be considering the story to this? That's all four. Now the last door will open, right? Saving and compiling... They don't want us looking... Error, inconsistent scan dimensions. Please rescan master bedroom. I have a feeling that's where we'll find the worst of the scene. Um, I'll say inconsistent scan dimensions. The geometry of the world has changed. Welcome home, it says. Oh, the movement is so stiff, not being able to look up or down. And with a somewhat narrow FOV, it makes it feel like I'm going to turn a corner and be face to face with something. <laughs> a picture on the wall. I uh, call it a Rorschach test, but I see like a Dudley do right style. <laughs> I see like a Dudley do right style animation of a knight in silhouette. Almost like Hanna Barbera decided to do the opening scene to Francis Ford Coppola's Dracula. Uh, but anyway, enough of that little distraction. Uh, I'm in a crisis right now. Oh, more of them. And the hallway is just looping endlessly in on itself. I have a feeling that something's going to happen when I decide to turn around, right? Is that how it's going to be? I swear, if I make this right turn like six or seven or eight or nine more times, I'm going to consider turning around. All right, I'm bored. Let's turn around. And no dice. Hi. Are you someone that I want to interact with to get it over with, or someone that I want to get away from to get away from? <laughs> Did not expect that movement. I honestly thought I would run into you and there would be a visual glitch and it would do the next thing. D it's It's the... You don't expect to see movement in here, and it's really leveraging that. I've talked before about how seeing smooth movement in a video game, lifelike movement, can really catch you off guard. And this is using that to full effect. Okay, but he's opened up another area. I guess he had the key to that wall. The key to that wall to the long hallway, which I now have to slowly, agonizingly walk down. System locate player tag. System spawn it character. Move, move, move. A timer. A timer. A timer. 
Timer for what? Timer for what? Timer for what? It is now present. It is now present, whatever it may be, in the level. Uh, red guy or not red guy? Red guy or thing? Possession? What is it? Oh, we're back where we started. What's now here? Do I just walk back the way I came? It's counting down now. It started counting up. Now it's counting down. I'm moving so slowly, I assume there's nothing I can do to influence this outcome, right? No, 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 no! That sounded so realistic, I turned around in real life. That chilled my spine. The timer started again. The countdown. And it's gone negative, so I guess we're okay. Uh, this game just keeps putting up walls. The expectations is when this happens, something will happen, something. You don't know what. And then just crashing through that wall and continuing on, not giving me even the chance for release. Uh, but thank you for finally showing me the exterior. Uh, it doesn't look like it's in a great neighborhood. Not a bad one, but, you know, not good. Just an ocean of assets. Well, I, the timer's counting up again. Ah, oh, there's my UI. Uh, thank you for catching that for me. Press tab to change cameras. That's a different camera. Am I actually moving backwards, or is that an illusion brought on by the by the environment textures. I honestly can't even tell. Can you tell? I really feel like I'm moving backwards, but... I don't know. I'm just gonna move. It feels like my movement is slower now. And even further illusions, it looks like the... Goop level in here is rising, but that can't be because it's not rising on the stairs. What is that up there? I, I can't look up to get a better view of what's up there. Oh, it's my UI. Thanks for returning it. And our location is undefined. So what do you think, like, <laughs> all these deductions considered, all these problems, like, 400k? I mean, it has a master bedroom with a bathroom and a walk-in closet. Ah, oh, that was such a cool and creative experience. I, I like that a lot. It was short. It was sweet, and it was original. Exploiting nostalgia, the fear of fourth wall breaking, all kinds of things. And even when it started to go off the rails, which it took its sweet time in doing, you know, it, it was very well paced. It was a gradual descent. And even then, it never hit us with those, like, actual jump scares. There were heart stoppers for sure, but that's all on you. That's the name of my Windows profile. There's more to... Congratulations, offer accepted, expect a call soon. And that is a hanging corpse. Expect a call soon. You had to end it after the credits with one more paranoia-inducing fourth wall breaking scare. Of course you did. But yeah, as, as I was saying before, <laughs> I guess I'll end it on this screen, might as well, right? As I was saying before, there are some heart attacks, but that's all on you. A large part of that is just on sights and movement that you just don't expect from this. And I loved how it took a format 
and then kind of took a step back and removed itself from that format by having us play it in the style of a regular 3D game after it had been in like that 2000s like presentation disc format the entire time. I think that is one of its greatest and most original strengths. One of the best things I liked about it is not only did it take have a step out of the format of the software itself, it set us up with the knowledge that this was photogrammetry, pictures taken of an environment to make it into a 3D render. And so the guy in the closet could have been attributed to something that you sometimes see in real estate imagery, which is, you know, somebody ducks around the corner and, you know, doesn't quite make it out of the way of the camera in time or hides because they know that, like, somebody's going through, and it's like, I'll just get out of your way for a second, but they're still a little bit in the picture. But then things start moving around us, which obviously shouldn't be possible with photogrammetry. The idea that something has entered a still space with us is a real mind screw and something that's really panic-inducing, if you're not expecting it. In a way, it actually almost reminds me of the appeal of the LiDAR mod, uh, but this has been a little bit of a long-winded uh, ending. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be down in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.